Hey guys, and welcome back to Life is Strange Double Exposure. So the rest of the chapter is released today, and we're going to go ahead and dive into chapter three. Oh, outfits, right. Oh, wait, they're different. Oh, tell your cat I said... Psst, psst. <laughs> Whoa, wait, that's kind of sick. Wait, no, because I'm going to regret it like I did last time. You know I will. Oh, squad. Uh, that's cute. Why is this the hardest part? You guys always see the cut down version of this, but I usually sit here for a long time. It's already been almost five minutes, and I'm still trying to decide which outfit I want to wear. <laughs> it's not that serious, but like... You know what? I think we'll do this. If I regret it, <laughs> we'll just see. Chapter 3. Spin. We were home. Oh, she's going through it. Who is it? Oh, how is it already morning? Oh, alarm. Girl, you slept like that? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Not her printing it, Let's girl. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've gotta be missing something. She said, let me print out a picture of me holding a gun. <laughs> Somebody bad might find it. I'm just saying. No matter what that photo of me suggests. Make it make sense. There's no way I shot Sophie. Right. It's... Ugh. Girl, I don't know. Please explain to me. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. I'm actually worried to see what's on there. I just wonder if there actually is a third timeline or if I'm just like stretching. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Okay. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Ooh. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Safi chapter. Huh. Restraining order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Uh, what else do we have? Email. Why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Why are we repeating the same thing? Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled. And I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Sophie. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah. The Gwen theory has some holes. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think Gwen is bad. At least Whoever in my head. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? I have no idea, girl. I have to prove that wasn't me. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Can I refill the coffee and then watch it? I should see what's on Gwen's flash drive before calling it quits. Oh, okay. I was just making sure. I don't know what to do first. Oh, it's on here. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Like, she knows it's there. Oh. Does she 
want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? Why did I think we were gonna actually watch a video? Not <laughs> that. <laughs> None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Let's get our coffee. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. Yeah, take that girl. It might get in the wrong hands. <laughs> Oh, Muffin. No matter how much I stare at you, you refuse to make sense. Moses? Oh, shit. Girl, put... Oh, if it's not Moses, put it away. Watch it be Amanda. Then she'll think you're a killer. Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh. 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 Fuck. Can I come in? Oh, no. This is such bad timing. A photo. Max. If he sees that. Max. I have some questions for you. Do you have a warrant? <laughs> Get out. What do you want? What do you want to know? Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. Do not go in the kitchen. Do not go in the kitchen. Uh, Max, I'm scared for you, girl. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Hmm, and those are? Go ahead. Swipe Arcadia it, girl. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school. Oh. Right? Uh-huh. Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Oh, shit. That's messed up. Guess I'm just unlucky. That's messed up, bro. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you tell him. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? Ugh, I hate I him. I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Shut up. Detective, I'm not answering any more of these questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? What do you mean, Moses and I put it together? What do you mean, bruh? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Hmm? Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. Girl, get that photo away. Why didn't she hide it before? <laughs> Ew, get out. Get out. <laughs> lock that shit. What kind of he lock saw is it. that? He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. I agree, that was really stupid of you. What the hell do I do now? All you have to do is slide it under. Drop it at the floor. Step on it. None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? 
The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Are we gonna do that? Maybe. Maybe I still could. Rewind time. No way. No way. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. <gasps> feels good. Final. Hmm. It's here too. But wait, it wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Who is Maya? How did we get here? Sophie! How did we get here? What happened? <laughs> Stop stalling, Max. What do you want? How do I stop? I'm so confused. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. Um, what? I what? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Girl, you're gonna kill yourself by freaking doing all this. Again? Oh, ah. oh, come on. If I can just... Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him everything. And we're back at the Overlook? I owe you an explanation or as much of one as I have. Meet me at the Overlook. Really, Max? There? I know it doesn't make sense. I'll do my best. Please. Fine. Thank you. Oh, platypus facts. Did you know? While platypuses nurse their young, they do so without nipples. <laughs> Milk is released via mammary glands on the mother's abdomen, and the babies lap it up from her fur. Wow, um, that's really something. Diamond posted three days and no word from Caledon or the cops about Safi's death, except a rumor about a detective alderman with the lead on who shot her. Wait, that's not good. 
It's really disappointing and frustrating to see as faculty as well. Hell, we haven't even heard that rumor. Please, I implore you to be patient. As you can understand, no one is more on top of this than I am. I want justice more than anyone. Hold on, rumor? Where'd you hear this? You have my number, Diamond, and I expect to hear my phone ring very soon. Girl, stop. Someone once asked me why I like numbers. The reality is numbers have no emotions. That makes them easier to understand. They just are. Oh babe, easier to understand isn't inherently superior. And what you're going through right now is normal, even if it's also painful. Oh, that's from Tony. Spoken like someone who's never met an irrational number. I'm kidding, of course, but hopefully that made you smile a little. Here Moses we go. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. Oh, we have another journal entry? December 7th. Alderman knows about my powers. He forced his way in here and scared the shit out of me. Maybe if I pretended I was on his team, he wouldn't have busted in here like that. But I doubt it. Worst thing is he saw the photo and just smiled at me. The fuck? He's plotting something, but I don't know what to do. How do I stop a cop? Chloe, later the strangest shit happened. My old powers came back and I saw what happened with Safi. I did do it. I don't know how, but I can't let this happen. It feels like I'm running in circles and I don't know how to make it all just stop. I feel like we've been here so many times already. Wait, is there a reason to go back? Let me see. Lucas, don't forget to come roast me at the snapping turtle tomorrow. I got a peek at the jokes and they are lit. Okay. Wow, maybe fire your publicist for this. <laughs> Yesterday I interviewed a group of Caledon students who said they were swarmed by a flock of owls by the Overlook, a flock that suddenly disappeared. Anyone else experienced something similar? It's so weird. So I guess like how life is strange, like the first game, the butterfly was kind of the symbol and it seems like the owl is in this one because Max also wears an owl pin. Artist spotlight. Some of that was definitely directed at me. Unfortunately, I've been placed on leave from Caledon. Obviously, the years I've invested in this place are not enough for people to realize my integrity and values. Thank you to everyone who has had the decency to respect my privacy at this time. Oh definitely at us. Gwen, I still love you regardless. I'm sorry you're going through this, Gwen. I don't believe any of it. So, in the last video, I noticed that she was messaging Rati. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I think that's how you say it. But, I think that's who she's been talking to. I don't know who that is. I don't know if it's just a random co-worker or what. Oh, Chloe. My go-to flirt game is simple. Compare hand sizes. Hands are hot. Two, hold hands. Three, hand holding plus dancing equals grinding. Okay, bitch, ain't nobody falling for that. I think it's cute. It's them tattoos because you really don't know what you're doing out there, Cher. Obviously not everyone agrees with you. Running late with grades, but I promise I'll have them ready in the next few days. I have to do this. I have to go back up there. Why do the graphics feel different to me? Might be a good place to wait for Moses. Better cross to the other side. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything here. Okay, I don't think so. Let's just go. Okay. If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. Maxine, I reached out to Detective Alderman this morning for an update and he sounded very much addled. He said he spoke to you. What did you say to him? Please tell me you didn't say anything to jeopardize this case. Oh, whoa. Well, what if I did? That's just who he is. He's under pressure. Yeah, let's just say X. I've only known him for like a day, but I get the impression he's always pretty on edge. Probably right. He is a little intense. I just want answers and he's my only hope right now. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. All right, let's wait. Well, here we are again. What if he doesn't come? He will. I couldn't blame him. 
He killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Wait, what the heck? There's bears in the thing? Oh. It's him. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. Don't worry, I don't got a gun. I deserve that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Oh, jeez. Where do we start? Tell me why you did it. I don't know why. I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna say B. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look! These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Yeah, it is pretty weird. Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Safi is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one. Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? Ooh. It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Let's do it. All right, Prove there's a problem. chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. All right, let's prove it to him. I shouldn't leave yet. What? I shouldn't leave yet. What? I wanted to go to the thing to do with the powers. Okay, I guess we gotta go to this one. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. <laughs> okay, Moses. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's showing where the portal things are? Moses? Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. What happened? Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, he believes us. Ready when you are. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Psychic storm. Okay, so we go back now. What did I do when you were away? And 
then you said... Oh, shoot. Oh, I think it was Machine Angel Psychic Storm. I better not say it wrong. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Come on, memory. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Safi's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? Mm-hmm. She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? All oh, the bottle cap. The bottle cap? How did you... Safi flipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. <laughs> can you give that to her? Tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. What if she can't? I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Say what? Just raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? It never worked how I'd hoped. Time travel couldn't fix anything. X. I know it sounds like it must have been amazing, but Moses, the things I caused to happen, just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. Point is, I stopped using it and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there in the past. Safi mentioned Maya, and, oh, God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Oh. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. Wait, what the... Alderman? Oh, shit. Wait, what the heck? Okay. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on Mr. Moses Murphy 
children of the deceased being the perp. Oh, hell no. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Oh, shit. Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. How would he know? The camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of <gasps> Oh, shit. I fucking knew it. Oh, shit. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? What do you want? You're not making sense, B. You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to collect. What? Does he see him his other self? Oh my god. Can't be good. Help me. Help me. Help. What the heck? Save yourself. Or help Alderman? Mmm. I could either be the good guy or the bad guy here. And I'm not gonna lie, because of how he's been, makes me just wanna say, fuck it, bye. I kinda wanna see what happens if I don't help him. It could be really bad though. Oh, I don't know. They already have me a tough situation right now. Okay, I've been struggling to decide what, what I wanna do, but I think I'm just gonna save ourselves and disregard Alderman here, okay? He hasn't been nice to us, so fuck you, bye. Am I sure? Um, not 100%, but am I gonna do it? Yes. <laughs> bye. You have to help me. I don't have to do anything, sir. No. Oh. <laughs> well, he kind of deserves that though. What the hell? Oh, that is gonna have some major consequences, and I'm kind of ready for it. He's a little orb now. Did I, did I kill him? Would it be the first person? <laughs> you had to. I'm sorry. It would have been you otherwise. Exactly. Max, if this spreads to campus, if our colleagues, our friends, our students get devoured like this, I can just. I could just stop using my powers. Started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? Mm -hmm. When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? 
No idea. I was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. She better like us this time. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Well, okay, that was interesting. Talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Okay. Okay, so Moses texted us saying, Hey Max, I know it's been an eventful morning and I'm still parsing it all, but I had a quick question. Are you able to get my text when you're in the other timeline? Trying to grasp the extent of what you can do from a physics POV. I can't. Doesn't look like I can, no. Okay, cool, that's a big help. I'll be in touch a little later when I've made some inroads into what happened earlier. Did you know a platypus's bill allows it to detect electricity generated by all living things? It's true. Really? Interesting. Amanda. Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising. Wow, well, sounds like me. I'm a border collie sun, cinnamon oat milk, latte moon, and slip and slide rising. <laughs> Lucas said Safi's first public reading was at the book expo and she had all of us eating out of the palm of her hand. She was meant for so much more. She appreciated you being there. She was so nervous. It didn't show. It never did with my Safi. She was full of espressos and having the time of her life. It's nice to remember her that way. Oh, she crossed out saying my acquaintance to my friend. Wait, that's so cute. December 7th, what the fuck? Did my powers just, no, not my powers, me. I did this. I erased that detective from existence. All I wanted was him off of me, but I doomed him, and I can't rewind time to undo it. That die is cast, and it's all my fault. I'm still so grateful Moses was with me. He makes me feel like maybe there's something we can do to stop this. I can't let this happen to anyone else. I mean, to be honest, probably fucked up by doing that, but you know what? It makes for an, an interesting time anything oh what is this if we can't sit on tables where are the cool kids expected to sit in chairs like a bunch of squares mm. anything a polaroid then boom the spaceship crashes right in the middle of the park and this alien crawls out of the hatch that seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. Can I take it? Oh, no. I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Yes, nobody likes the paper straws. We've heard you. We continue to hear you. Unfortunately, until we run out of them, and we have a lot, we can't replace them with your preferred delivery method of plastic. <laughs> Santa hat. Mm. My younger self might have thought this would make an edgy photo. <laughs> oh, this is the guy from the freaking turtle. He was an asshole. <laughs> I might go back into the living. Audrey, I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. You? Nope. She's still not answering any of my calls. Oh no. Around. I saw her in the North Quad, but she turned and ran the other way. This just isn't like her. <gasps> Last time we spoke, 
said that she didn't want to go out. I think she's depressed. Well, she told me she was busy. She's probably too focused on school. What she needs is a friend she can empathize with. Someone a bit more in alignment with her. I wonder if what happened to Alderman stick up their ass. happened to Kim. Funny. Grade book. This must be the professor Sophie TA'd for. She mentioned he liked to tear this one kid down, but failing him is harsh. Oh. Change grade. I mean... Shit. I need a password to change the grades. I'll never find it in this mess. Wait. I bet Sophie wouldn't mind me helping out one of her favorite students. Hmm. I don't want Kim to think we chose Bohemian Fruit. <gasps> You're right. It has to be perfect. We should research Missing snake. <laughs> Guard your ankles. Daisy is missing. She's really sweet. Roommate left the door open. Ooh. Not good. Meeting tomorrow? Meeting tomorrow? Where? What meeting? <laughs> is it endorsing meetings in general? Right. No, no extra information. Just meeting tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, that's so crazy. Things just change like that. That's awesome. I should follow them for more info. Stand with Professor Hunter. Professor Gwen Hunter, one of the most beloved professors at Caledon, has been suspended for reasons the university refuses to disclose. Please join us at the student-led discussion this evening in room 201 to discuss how we can support Professor Hunter the way she supported us. Sign up via our app for more updates as they come in. No oh, wait, Amanda. I know that there's a rational explanation for most phenomena, but I gotta say, whatever happened to my telescope defies any I can think of. I've heard some weird reports about performance art at the Observatory Overlook. I can't take credit for myself, but I applaud my fellow Abraxans for their creativity. Yo, Max, shot in the dark here, but any chance you know what happened to my telescope? The very heavy, very expensive telescope I was almost done assembling. I stepped away for a few minutes, and when I came back, it was no longer close to being assembled. Carla, maybe? Faulty materials? I'm gonna say Carla. Blame it on Carla. Carla pranking you again? Maybe she saw an opening. I thought that, but even with the combined might of the science department, I'd, it'd have taken them an hour and change. That is freaky. X-Files theme. Moderately sure it wasn't aliens. Ooh. If I can talk again. What should I say this time? Yeah, what should we say? Stop blaming yourself. Be gentler with your heart. Yeah, be. It's okay to extend yourself a little grace. It's more than okay. It's essential. So deep. Can I listen? I know I should say something. It's just took me so long to get into the society. I'll be damned if I quit because of one little comment. Still, if I don't speak up, who will? Mm -hmm. uh, I swear, if it was anyone else in charge, I'd feel a little bit better about all this. I don't know. The society. Was she talking about Abraxas? Probably. Okay, let's see. Unattended laptop. I can't imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's snoops like me around? <laughs> right. Professors sitting on the table? Hmm. Interesting. Isn't it? Oh, Loretta. My favorite. Loretta's a hard worker. I'll give her that. I just wish she'd use her powers for good. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Any new leads? How's Reggie doing? Working on your podcast? Yeah, any new leads? Any new leads? Shake down anyone else for information lately? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I'm so stupid. Crap. Wrong Loretta, Max. You know what? Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> 
End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Josh is like, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> anyway, catch you later, Loretta. Can we rewind? Rewind. That was a little awkward. That's okay though. Chalkboard. Sugar and spices in my latte? Yes. Eggnog? No. No caffeine? This week of all weeks? I predict outright revolt before the week is out. <laughs> That's crazy. No caffeine. I say that, but I don't even drink coffee. My dearest Annabelle, I write to you from the front lines to inform you that the war on Christmas has been lost. <laughs> okay. Wait, were these seats here the whole time? They were not here, were they? Am I going crazy? Oh, what the heck, there's masks. The art department really pushes for self-expression in every medium. I like that about Caledon. Well? Oh, wow. These are, uh, extremely creepy. Sorry. What is this? Caledon top 10. This school's success means a lot to Yasmin. President Fayad says a few words about how she shepherded once a once unknown university into one of the biggest schools in the country. Wow, that's impressive. Rock band player. Wait, Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? <laughs> okay, give me the password. And then she didn't. Sophie, please remember to lock the door when you're finished grading. Thanks. Martin has an A here. I knew it. Sophie would never fail this kid. Sophie, don't forget to enter grades online once you're finished. Password is 1223. Got it. Holiday board. I wonder who took the time to censor Sophie's recipe. Probably not Sophie. Dad's famous drunk gingerbread men cookies. Grandma's secret sweet potato pie. I hardly know any of the faculty here. <laughs> Enjoy your time off. The classes only get harder next year, kiddos. Happy holidays, Gwen. Congratulations on another year. Please use this time a way to be thankful for all that you've accomplished and hope to accomplish in the future. Happy holidays, President Yasmin Fayad. Come on, Lucas. That's not your quote. You dressed up a line from a Christmas carol. I bet he'd go ballistic if one of his students did that. <laughs> Let us honor Christmas in our hearts and try to keep it all year. Lucas Colmanero. It's him and his kid. Krampus Roast Flyer? I'm surprised Lucas agreed to do this. Oh. Join us in the good fun at Krampus on campus as we continue holiday tradition and roast this year's turkey. Lucas Colmanero. Oh, they're roasting him! Oh! <laughs> The way I was like, oh, they're just gonna cook him. <laughs> no, like, roast. Oh my god. I understand. I don't know why. I was just like, oh. Anyways. Oh, shoot. Fuck. This doesn't look so great for Gwen. In accordance with the rules and policies of Caledon University, Gwen Hunter has been suspended from her duties pending further investigation. Please contact the Office of Student Affairs with any concerns. No, Gwen. There's a whole padlock on her door, too. Jeez, Caledon. Is that necessary? Let me in. I need to water her plants. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's go back. I have a computer to hack into. All right, let's do a little. Enjoy the A, my dude. I think you've earned it. Anyways, off to Gwen's office. Hey, Gwen. I'm back. I know you're sick of me, but I'm just trying to be your best friend. Okay, maybe not best friend, but you know. It's a lie. Yes, thanks to me. More music I'm not cool enough to know. The bleed, blue weather. Oh, Snapchat. Old school. 
Nice. Cool. Glenn, being a vinyl girly feels incredibly on the nose. True. Black rose. One of those Abraxas roses for Sophie. Oh, she got one. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Dr. Hunter, first and foremost, my condolences. I know you and Safi were close. You don't know me, but there is no reason you would. I know it might be inappropriate to come to you with this, but I frankly don't know what else to do. Before her death, Safi was helping me. I know as a member of the LGBT community yourself. There's not more? Okay. All right, Gwen, I think I'm ready to speak to you. I'm a little nervous and I'm gonna fuck it up like I do every single time, but I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> Is that Sophie's book? Oh. Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Oh. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? Why do this to Safi? How did you convince the publisher? I'll do X. That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. You got the deal, then killed it? How did you convince the publisher? X. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. How did you convince the publisher? So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. What was so incendiary? Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? No. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Uh, I'm gonna say she never mentioned her because, to my knowledge, she didn't, except for earlier, right? But that was like barely anything. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. Hmm. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? 
my stuff and everything around me. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Galadon when she just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. Oh. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one. It's one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Last thing, Safi's manuscript. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Who, us? No. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Quince, oh, please. Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. You know what that means. How do I get my hands on a copy? Moses texted us again saying, okay, so I started doing a little digging into the Alderman situation and it's already weird. Apparently neither Vermont State nor Lakeport PD have any record of a Detective Vincent Alderman ever. Wait, what? Uh, that's weird. Okay, yeah, that's How odd. How have no record of him? They sent him. To say the least. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Maya Okada. Moses said that Dr. Gwen would know more about Maya's situation. I'm gonna confirm that Maya was super close with Safi and that she took her own life. But there's more to the story. Vin and Safi were hooking up and Safi and Maya Okada were very close. Did Vin know Maya too? Gwen said Vin used to follow Safi and Maya around like a puppy dog and that Yasmin would have more info. Exactly how much does Yasmin know about the Maya Okada situation? Gwen hinted that Yasmin was involved in the aftermath of Maya's death. I should have a chat with the boss. Okay. Well, wait, I can speak to her again. Oh, she's gonna kick me out. Please, no more questions, Max. She's so tired of us. Oh my God, what is that? Why does that face look familiar? That little, like, goblin-looking troll thing. What, what does that remind me of? I don't know. You don't think I can get the manuscript? Oh, trust. I will. What is this? Dr. Hunter, this morning I attempted to call student resources asking them why your classes for the rest of the semester have been canceled. I was told in no uncertain terms that it was none of my business. Then I tried calling the president. She didn't even pick up the phone. Then I walked up to Mr. Reyes, the custodian, and he told me he'd witnessed you being removed by security and that you'd been suspended under suspicions of selling drugs to students. I won't insult you by asking if you're guilty. I'll just wish you the best and tell you that you're the best teacher I've ever had. My student visa only lasts for another semester, but if there's anything I can do, or if on some off chance you're ever in Bangkok, look me up. Dr. Hunter, this is bullshit, you rock, I'm drunk. <laughs> Happy birthday, apologies for the stationery, it was the only thing within reach. I believe I speak for all of us when I say that this is unacceptable and you can count on our support at the hearing next week. If you're looking for a lawyer, I can recommend a decent one. We're going to fight this, Gwen. We'll go to the paper if we have to. Caledon Lit Department. You will be avenged. Books. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? Well, I don't know. Stack of finals. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Can we get these handed off to a TA? Sorry for the additional workload, Livia. Oh no, the computer. So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. Why does that computer look so dirty? Hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. Right, okay. If I'm lucky, maybe this Gwen left Safi's manuscript behind. Let's hope. Ooh, score. Gotcha. 
Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. A million miles beneath my feet, she lies still in her Sunday clothes. We killed her with our own hands. I mean our lack of hands. I killed her with my voice. I mean my lack of voice. Maya's book was like a child or a tumor or a risen a beast within her. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. On the first page, she wrote that she was drowning, and by the time she finished, she was drowned. Girl, what? Laws of physics. The drowned always surface. What isn't spoken still exists. You can chop her up and sell her for parts, but her ghost remains whole, floating there in the corner of my kitchen, giving me that familiar look. The one that says, unstitch the binding, let the pages fall out, fluttering like birds shot down. The one that says, take him for everything he's got and then some. Interesting writing. Talk to the living Whatever world, Yasmin. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Okay, well we have to go back first in order for us to leave. All right. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Oh, not a problem. Anything for you. Let's hop over. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. <laughs> hey there. Hi, Yasmin. Maxime. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Uh, I'm gonna... Try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Okay, what would we say? Well, Gwen be fired. Seen Safi today. You're in a good mood. Safi lost her book deal. Let's ask, will Gwen be fired? I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Do you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Seen Safi today? Have you seen Safi today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Paladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just so-so. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was canceled? What? No. How... How uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Wait. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Let's talk about Maya. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Huh? Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Ah, oh, are you serious? This is my big decision. Call her out, go along with it. Um, I think I'm gonna call her out. Although what if I do go along with it and see what she's trying to say? You know what, I'm gonna call her out. Cause I wanna know what she's gonna do. And if that means she's gonna be pissed at me, well, she wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> Add it to the list. 
Everyone I've talked to says Sophie and Maya were joined at the hip. You had to have known that. Are you implying I'm lying? Uh, no, just stating a fact. <laughs> I'm not implying anything, but I've seen Sophie's manuscript. It's explicitly about what happened to Maya. Oh, so you're an expert now on Safia's past. Never mind the, the context, the circumstance. Safia had nothing to do with what happened to Maya Okada. Whatever else may be true, that is the bottom line. What happened was messy and painful. You're Safia's friend. Surely you understand the need to protect her from rumors and gossip. All this over rumors? Does she want protection? Safia's resilient. Shouldn't she decide if she wants protection? Safia is my child. Whether she wants my protection or not, she will have it. Okay, Mama Bear. Frankly, it shocks me you don't realize this. Vin understood immediately. What does Vin have to do with this? Oh, slip. Obviously, you won't stop digging. So go ask him yourself. Wow, I guess I should talk to Vin. Hey Moses, sorry to bug you, but I had a question about Vin Lang and Maya Okada. Sure, what's up? Okay, ask. Do you know anything about Vin's ties to Maya's death? What happened to Maya predates me, but Safi told me once that Vin did make a statement after she died. Hang on. He said, Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her the help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. Does that help? It does. Moses, you're a gem. He's probably in the admin building. <gasps> Amanda! Hey, sport. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Really? Sport? Unforgivable. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. Oh, can we? I'll think of something. Anyway, hi, Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. <laughs> Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna straight up say it. About Maya. I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. Sky's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. Huh. See you, Amanda. That was a little weird, wasn't it? What if they want you to think that Amanda is, like, good? But what if she's actually the evil one? I don't want to believe she's evil, but there could be a chance. Because that was weird. Do they keep changing these rooms around? Like, I swear. Nothing ever seems to bother you, Gretch. You must have a heart of stone. A crush on Lucas? Really? Things can't be that bad, can they? Yum. <laughs> okay, Isabel, you were absolutely right. As always. What, uh, was I right about? 
as it happens, a number of folks, faculty and staff alike, oh, here they go again. love a four-day week. I get Is it. Is Dean a secretary? What the heck are you talking about? He's an administrative assistant. Okay, why is Vin an administrative assistant? He's an amazing actor. I saw a couple of his plays back when he was an undergrad. It's what made me want to come to Caledon. Hmm. Keep up my shenanigans and they'll have to add Max Caulfield to the list. Legend of the Lake. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being a fan. Mothman. I didn't realize I needed a cryptid erotica until just now. Paranormal love story. Anyways. Oh my god, no way! Somebody went and vandalized all these. Caledon's Gorilla Girl strikes again. Keep fighting the good fight, kid. <laughs> good luck getting that off. What the heck? Foam bullets. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Vin's phone. Damn, Vin's the most popular class on campus. Smolder, you found a new hookup. Francine sent you a new message. Aaron sent you a message. You found a new hookup. You coming over later? Need a release? Okay. Well, Vin, hello. I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Okay. Hey, Vin. Um. Y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. <laughs> do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Oh, really? How did you and Yasmin meet? How long have you worked here? Let's do X. Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. She probably saw me in the importance of being earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, but I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So it had nothing to do with Maya Okada? Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? Uh, You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled to the schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Okay, then. Speak to Dead World Diamond in the admin building. Why is Yasmin talking about you, of all people, Vin? That was weird. Maybe oh. other Vin will spill. Maybe. The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Oh... Sophie bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. But isn't it broken in this one? How nice of you to finally return my phone call, Stefan. Damn the email. Sophie was our only child. Can't we spare 15 minutes to discuss her funerary arrangements? No. She didn't have a will. And those died by... Suicide? No, she, she didn't. didn't even know. Died by... Suicide? But I thought... I prefer for her to be buried as soon as possible. I hate the thought of her lying in a funeral home. Alone. I can't keep listening to this. Wait, was the hedgehog broken in this one or in the other one? Oh wait, he has 
two hedgehogs now. No way around it. I don't like the looks of this guy. Too grim reapy. Changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing for both her and Vin. Recycling. I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Oh, is this his resume? Oh, wow. That's a lot. Looking for gigs out on the West Coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin. Casting calls and auditions in your area. Say cheese, little guy. Oh, it has a band-aid on it. Prickly exterior, yet secretly vulnerable. Are you trying to tell us something, Vin? Somebody patched you up. Well, I'm glad one of us is feeling better. Okay, yeah, so that was the one that was broken. That's what I thought. I wanted to talk to you about a breakfast and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? Oh, Vin's over I there. I you were smarter than that. And nicer, frankly. Vin, cut the bullshit. This isn't about you. It's about the best person to head a Braxis. Right now, you're not in a place I'm where in a you place can... I'm to keep a Braxis above it all. As long as I have this job, we could light the observatory on fire and get away with it. You're not even a student here. You graduated years ago. <laughs> Plus, Braxis should be about marginalized people making subversive art. Not about straight white guys getting wasted and committing arson. Oh no! Somebody abandoned their boy. Hot dog man. Diamond's notebook? Diamond wants to lead Abraxas. I bet she's got some good secrets. Whoa, Diamond was working on a documentary about Moses. Oh. I wonder why she never went through with it. That was not dirt on Vin. I'm sorry, Diamond. I didn't think this is what I'd find. Dear Moses, don't laugh, all right? I know what you think of therapy. The brain is unknowable and the soul isn't a thing. Your words, not mine. But this is an exercise, which means I shouldn't have to worry about you shredding my thesis. Funny, isn't it? Even when I'm writing something for my own emotional health, in a letter that's only meant for me, I imagine your voice in the back of my head, always asking questions, always pushing me. So here it is, in all its messy glory. I have feelings for you. Oh my gosh. There, I said it. I knew I was falling for you on the first trip to Everett. When you helped me find Orion, three bright stars, and you put your face close to mine. It was your first lecture, your words so warm on my neck. I didn't know about Tony then, or about how much I'd want to be close to you after that. So yes, I have feelings for you, and yes, I struggle with them every day, but I have to move on. You've got your love, and it's time I find mine elsewhere. Even if I don't want to, even if it's hard to, even though you're the first person I've liked that actually makes sense. I've had crushes before, big ones, and I've tried sex, but I never really understood what it was like to actually want that with someone until I met you. I don't know if I ever will again, or if anyone will ever love me if I decide I don't want to do that again. Am I really just supposed to give up, be alone forever? Love always, Diamond. Wow. I was not expecting that. Wow. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Oh, hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Uh-oh. Sore subject. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Dang. No, there's our answer. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? It's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he's bitten to a lemon anytime someone says her name. 
So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for a Braxis president unopposed. Hmm. But if I have the right piece of dirt, I bet I can make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin's covering something for Yasmin. Vin it said Maya had mental health problems. I don't feel like B is like he has dirt or anything. I think Vin covering something up for Yasmin is a lot more. I don't know, we'll see. Vin gave a public statement about Maya. And I think Yasmin had something to do with it. Like Yasmin asked him to give the statement? That's the vibe I got. Do with it what you will. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Go forth and conquer. Don't go too hard on him. Let's just say X. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Huh. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. Thank you. Pulse in living this world. This man's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Okay, so Moses sent us another message. He said, update, I thought I hit a wall in the Alderman mystery, but then I got a single ping for the name Alderman in the Lakeport area. There's a bizarre report from 40 or so years ago about a widow named Miss Marjorie Alderman who'd be in her late 60s now. I'm still reading through it and I'll reach out soon once I've made sense of it. I'm all ears. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? All right, let me know what you find out and be careful. Believe me, after what we saw up there, I will. Loretta, dropping the new episodes of Get a Clue in Two Days that digs deeper into the Safi, Luella, and Fayad case and explores the death of Maya Okada, Safi's former classmate who also passed away at Caledon. Can't wait to listen. Please be respectful to former students who have passed. I'm so sorry for your loss, President Fayad. I mean that 100%. This is my way of being respectful. Their stories deserve more attention. I see. And then Gwen... I've lost two talented students now, both young women who are highly gifted and bold. I don't know what to make of that beyond I should have done more. The other student you mean was Maya, right? She was in my intro class and impressive as hell from day one. I think of her frequently. Wish I could have met Maya. She seems like such a real one. We now have notes on Amanda. So Max wrote, Amanda was on campus today and it was weird. Amanda said she came to Caledon for coffee and seemed weirdly dodgy when I asked questions about it. Again, so she also notices the weird vibes and then diamond notice vin reacts whenever maya's mentioned the question we both want to know is why all right so let us go into the living and we're gonna be sneaky and listen in okay Wait, where am I supposed to be listening to this conversation? Oh, right here. Can you recommend a still cup of coffee, please? No, because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. Yasmin asked you to give that statement, didn't she? Up Nobody expects the head of a bracket to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. Right, fine. You know what happened? After Mia died, Jasmine told me that if I stayed on the record that Maya was trouble, he'd give me a job as her sister. Holy. Classes and clipped. And you said that shit about her? 
Oh my god. Okay? Most kids at Tyler don't get what that's like. And I'm not a student, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes. Yes, we promised me that stable, respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about my life. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I've been doing it ever since. I don't have to bring that up in the beginning. Just after the end of the day. I'm dropping out of the race. Oh. Like that? It doesn't feel very good. In the end, does it? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class. And he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield. Which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Speak to Living World Vin about Maya. Okay, let's see. He looks so composed. Let's hope what I've learned is enough to crack him. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There oh. is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. I'm trying to help myself. I'm trying to help someone. Let's do B. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. Oh? You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Ooh. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. Gwen was framed. Lucas filed a restraining order against Safi. You owe me a favor. You and Safi were together. I can only pick one. Oh my god. I kind of want to ask about him and Safi being together. I'm not going to lie. I'm really curious about that. I'm going to say it. You and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. Oh. Remind me not to underestimate you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. What? Why? So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And 
Now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Oh my god, what happened to her? You're kidding. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want. Only one Colmenero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Samuel, I'm sorry. Can you please hold? Absolutely not. Out of my office, now. But oh, I... I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just going to go back to being friends? We were never friends. Tell me about Maya. Blood on your hands. Ooh, I'm gonna go B. I feel like that's very bold. Let's do B. Admit it, Lucas. You have blood on your hands. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Now get out! Well, there obviously is something considering you're behaving like that. What the fuck was that? That's what I'm saying. I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. No, I'm not going near that man again. Not alone, anyway. That just makes me not regret what I did <laughs> in the last episode at all. Uh, I'm guessing I have to go into the dead to get in there. Is that what my objective is? I already talked to Vin in the admin building. Why is it not checked off? Find information about Alabama. Okay, let me go see if I can get info. No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. It sure does. This is it. Let's see what he's hiding. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. Okay. Huh. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. Okay, mug. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Advanced reader copy. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. The golden moment. Jorge Martinez. Mr. Colmanero, it's been years and you probably don't remember me, but I was hoping you'd do me the honor of being the first one to read this. My publisher would go crazy for a blurb, but that's not what's important. You inspired me so much as an undergrad. I just want you to tell me your thoughts. Advanced reader copy, do not distribute. Surely there's something good in here. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. Yeah, why does she kind of remind me of Britney Spears? Like in her current era, her dancing in videos type of vibe. I don't know why. I don't know why. If you did get something from Moses, actually. The official report was that Marjorie Alderman was diagnosed with severe abdominal pains, a psychosomatic response to overwhelming grief stemming from the death of her husband. What? My God. Jesus, I know. Detective Vince Alderman was never born and never existed, but the residue remains at the margins. The scientist in me is curious about the how of it all. But the black guy in a horror movie in me says it's better to leave this particular thread alone and the latter one out. Oh my god, that's smart. If Alderman never existed, how the hell do Moses and I remember him? Yeah, what is, like, literally what is going on? That's probably the best course of action and thank you, Moses, for everything. It's science. I had to check. Just wish we could tell Sophie about this wild shit. So do I. You need to figure this out before what happened to him happens to someone we care about. 
Mm-hmm. I keep seeing posts about people breaking into the crime scene. Good fucking luck. Have fun being traumatized for the rest of your life. Gwen, let me apologize in advance for behaving like a hall monitor, but do you need help? Wait, Gwen is so sweet. Please don't hesitate to reach out if the time comes, and not just to me. Caledon's mental health resources aren't as robust as I'd like, but they do exist. Anything else in here? Coffee. Yes, normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. No, espresso. Oh, Polaroid. What the heck? How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in this timeline? People are angry at the professors, apparently. Like, what? <laughs> what is going on? The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for writing books. Okay. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kind of like Lucas. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. All right. Anything? Oh, bottom drawer. Would you file what I did to Maya under W or M? That's a lot of junk. Maybe what I need is somewhere in there. What the? What is all this? Wrinkled note? Um, oh. That could definitely be Maya Okada. Can't believe the Lucas Colmanero wants to be my mentor. Going to bring in what I have so far tomorrow. I'm a little stuck on where to go next. So maybe you can help me brainstorm. Excited to see what you think. Thanks again, M.O. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. That is a lot of meetings. Oh no. I really hope it's not the case of student-teacher relationship. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Mm. Plagiarism. Fashion magazine? Maybe he reads it for the articles. America's best least dressed man. So cute. Liar. Yasmin did one of these? Oh, Krampus roasts with guest of honor Yasmin Fad. Interesting. Folded paper. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Dear Professor Colmanero, I'm ready to tell you that the Caledon Book Club is going to be reading Wilder Beasts Than These for the month of March. I read it last summer and absolutely fell in love with it. I think it's probably my favorite book now, and I wanted to share that experience with the rest of the group. Wilder Beasts Than These means a lot to me, especially as a Latina. I don't get to see myself represented much in media, so Carolina's story is pretty near and dear to my heart. It would make my year if you came to the book club meeting on Tuesday, March 31st at 5 o'clock. I was thinking you could be here while we discuss the book and maybe do a small reading for us. Excited to hear your reply. Valeria Cruz. There's a picture of Sophie in here. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. Oh, Vin, Sophie, and Maya going on here. Wait, did I look at everything? I think so. What's in the top drawer? Let's see. These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. Okay, does that mean we got all the information we could have gotten then? We didn't get anything. 
still have fine information about Maya. Unless I'm missing something. I guess I just leave now? Pretty sure Gwen's had enough of me today. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> okay, let me go back. I think I have to go back. No, I'm not going near that man again. Not alone, anyway. So what exactly am I supposed to be doing now? I don't think I found out any information that I need to. Find information about Maya. It still says to go to admin building, so maybe we go here and see? I have to talk to Lucas. Now. But, but you just said you don't want to talk to him alone. Lucas is at the center of this. It's cool, Diamond. You don't have to pretend to be interested in some grad student's decade-old thesis. I talked to him. You know? No, what? Why Vin lied in that statement? No. He was, like, hurt. But he did step down, so... All hail President Diamond, I guess. I'm sorry. Sometimes that's necessary. X, because she doesn't feel really good about it, I guess. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you something without thinking through the consequences. I mean, I wasn't trying to stop you. First act as president of a breakfast? Breaking the news to the Vinions, I guess. Vinyans. <laughs> There's gonna be tears. See you around, Max. See ya. Okay, so I looked it up, and people are saying that they have a bug, but then other people are mentioning something about a key. So, under a photo, and I think it might be this, and maybe I just didn't examine it properly. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. Oh, okay, there is a key. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Okay. Gotta keep in mind to rotate things. I literally was so lost for like, I don't even know how long. <laughs> find the lock. Doesn't fit. This one over here. Nope. It's probably the filing cabinet, huh? Oh wait, the, there's a lock on the typewriter? Oh, it's definitely this. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the? That's... Not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Wait a second. Because wasn't Safi's poem called A Million Miles? Come on, there's got to be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Wait, did he steal her writing? Holy shit. It's the same. <gasps> Gag. He can only just change the names. Oh my god, this freaking thief. Okay, he deserves everything bad that's coming to him. Just as Vin said. Absolutely. Oh my god, I don't even feel bad about anything that I did to him. Bro. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. Make sure to zoom up, Max. Gotta get this front and center, this copy freaking paste. Talk about plagiarism is bad in Caledon. Bro is literally plagiarizing his student's work. I have to talk to Safi. Is 
Safi, eh. Stay strong, Habibdi. You know where to find me. Um... Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, shit. Safi, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? Well, you see, I can't tell you. Well, girl, let's not do that. I'm trying to help you. Oh, she's going to be like, I don't need your help. I already know. I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. Oof. Ugh. Oh, snapping turtle. I don't even feel comfortable here because Amanda's giving me sus vibes. Oh, Reggie. Oh, Gwen. Oh, she definitely doesn't want to see us. I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. <gasps> call her! Call her! Call she Chloe! Pick up for me. Yes, call her! Call Chloe! Wait. It's not up to her to take care of me anymore. Oh my god. Max, shut up and call her. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Max, you're pissing me off. Fucking call Chloe, bro. Jeez. I just want a crumb of Chloe. Just hear her voice, and y'all are just giving me nothing. <laughs> there are a lot of creeps in the world, and Lucas Colmenero is one of them. He acts like he's dignified, but he's a user. Jefferson was all charm, too, until he wasn't. He was so menacing when he kicked me out of his office. I'm glad I sent Sophie that restraining order. Exactly. Who knows what Lucas is capable of? I feel sorry for Robbie to have such an asshole for a dad. I feel sorry for Sophie, too. So many people failed her, including me. Speak to Vin in Dead World, leave the bar in Living World, speak to Amanda in Living World. What are we in right now? Are we in Living? <laughs> Gwen, I know you're sick of me, but I need to speak to you. There's Gwen. I should tell her about that weird security footage. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. All right, then, Dad. Anything else? Oh, that's all. Love you, girl. I hope. Just... Take care. Gwen, we're just looking out for you, okay? That's all it is. It's all love. Oh, we're in living, okay. Just talk to me, Safi. Tell me what's happening. I did not speak for so long that my tongue rotted, but my teeth got sharp. Safi, can you call me back, please? 
Picking up ingredients for sangria makes me think about a friend who used to get wasted and try to get us to break into abandoned buildings. Wherever you are, I hope there's plenty of derelict bowling alleys. Elmio, who is this? You don't know her. I think this is more reflective of your sangria than anything else. My sangria whips. If this is who I think it is, I wish we had broken into somewhere with her. Me too. <laughs> Wait, this, this note for Alderman is so funny. Detective on Safi's murder case. Harassing Moses. Don't like him. Crime scene ate him. Yeeted him from existence. I mean, that's pretty accurate. I don't know if that's been there the whole time, but I just noticed it. All dressed up for Krampus. I was so excited to go. I doubt I will. Hey, guys. So, any idea what you're going to do? Do? I'm not going to do anything. Well, obviously doing nothing is making you miserable. If I was at home, I could get wasted. But they won't serve me here. Amanda Carr. Alcohol isn't a solution. Period. I don't need a lecture. Well, good. My dad's the preacher. I mean, maybe you should just tell him. Tell him what? How you feel. <gasps> Are you bananas? That's the last thing I'm going to do. But you have to see him every day. How are you going to get over him? I'm not. Oh. You gotta be solution-oriented, Di. Nobody should have let you take those business classes. This is why I keep telling you that you just need to get laid. Get him out of your system. Ugh. I keep telling you that doesn't help. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not saying go out and find your soulmate. I'm saying, you know... <laughs> A long weekend. That just doesn't work for me. I guess it's just different for guys. It's not a gender thing, Reggie. I think... I think I'm just built different. It's dumb. Holding on to impossible futures. It's self-destructive. Excuse me? That's funny, coming from somebody who keeps tripping and falling into bed with the spawn of evil. <laughs> you, uh, he, we, that's not the same. You want to talk about impossible futures, Reggie? Do you think he's ever going to get serious with you? Ooh, T. He... No, I don't. That's not the sort of relationship we have. And my OBS bugged out again, but he was saying that he's fine with it. And then I was like, but are you really? And then I don't even know if there was anything else after that. I don't think so. Anyways, let's speak. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's oh. about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Well, thank you. You OK? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what oh. happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. <laughs> you ever have a thing for the wrong person? Mm, who hasn't? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I don't Reggie. think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way with anyone, ever. Oh, Diamond. I don't know if I will again. Give it time. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, time. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. I wish Safi gave me a moment to explain. Ooh, some people perform friendship, but if they were true friends, they'd respect your boundaries. It's a hard lesson to learn, but not everyone has pure intention. Sounds like someone pissed you off. Girl, not the subtweeting or sub cross talking. The only thing I wanted for Christmas this year was to introduce my baddie boyfriend to my friends at Krampus, but I don't think Santa can do it. 
Um, Moses, I said I would try and you know me. You know I tried. I just couldn't make it work this time. Oh, I know. I wasn't calling you out, boo. I was feeling some type of way and wanted to be sad on Maine is all. Well, you're right to be sad because I'm a 10 on my worst day. Your coworkers wouldn't know what to do with me. You barely do. I'll be at Krampus. I'll keep you company if you're down. Diamond is so bold. I mean, okay, girl, do your thing. Polaroid. You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute, that last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. Is this on a date that they had or something? Was this like pre- Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. Wanna swap places? Oh, okay. That makes sense then. I was gonna say, I was like, when did they even go out or something? Like I was, I would assume they would have shown us. Okay, it's just a sit. Let's sit. Let's ponder. Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? You stay the fuck away from me. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. What Lucas did to Maya was deplorable. I can only imagine how painful that was for Safi. And I poked at that pain like a kid with a stick. Maybe I should have told her the truth. I think I'd kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Oh, fuck. I thought things would be different here. I hope Sophie doesn't hate me for too long. Oh, that looks really pretty. Can't be a bard. Why not? Because we already have. They're playing D and D. Last time we had two bards, we got totally smoked, dead in two sessions. Hmm. Must be game night. Well, wow, that's a very good observation, Max. Really proud of you. Okay, I'm just making sure there's nothing around here. Yeah. That I'll miss. Full bus. Good stuff. business tonight. Or the dishwasher is broken. Okay, let's talk to Amanda. I'm scared. I love watching her work. Oh shit, that's weird. I was about to say, don't Do be creepy. Do not say that out loud, Max. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. Right. I doubt it. But old sport is more my style anyway. Finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Um... You know what? Hit me with grandma's liquor. You know me. If it's not cloyingly sweet, I can't drink it. Have you ever tried a Maro? It's this sweet liqueur. It tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week-long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. <laughs> what the... How are we feeling now? It hit her. Like, like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. 
But then I realize I'm still falling. <gasps> you are such a disaster. Mm. God, That's I putting it lightly. Type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Just let me mope. You won't get in trouble? Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? Yeah. What do you say we have that date now? Oh. What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. <laughs> we pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. You can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Granite Joe? Scary merch? Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares into your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Okay, sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's wash. Let's thrash. <laughs> I want to see this. Let's thrash. Shock of thrash. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> Probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I catch her. Nobody catches her. We'll catch her. We'll catch her. I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait. Don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oops. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer... But she... Stone cold dead on the floor. <sighs> but don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. Wow. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or, like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with... Let's see. One, 
terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. What could be better? <laughs> if that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know. Oh my God. Maybe tomorrow my existence won't make things worse for everyone around me. Does she want to kiss her? Oh, okay, never mind. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Oh. Why are you so nice to me? Shit. I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch onto people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? <laughs> Please don't. That would be hot. <laughs> uh. At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey, I have never made a girl cry on a first date before, and I don't want to start now. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five person. She's nervous. You can't do this to me. Sorry, did I... Do something wrong? No. No. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, okay, and? It's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. Okay, I'm gonna kiss her. Listen, I know that she's giving me weird vibes and stuff. Regardless, I think they're still cute, okay? Listen, this could be an issue later, but for the moment, we're feeling it. So we're gonna kiss Amanda. Yes. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. <laughs> so you go first. Are you trying to break me? That's such a creepy smile, Max. I'm sorry. Max Caulfield, you are the worst. She's so pretty. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, Max. <sighs> Speechless. When do you get off? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but before we do anything else. <laughs> Maybe we should sleep on it. In my bed? <laughs> <laughs> Max! As much as I'd like that. Um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. God damn. <laughs> uh, 
to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it. Um. <laughs> it would really suck for her to be the bad guy right now. Amanda, please don't let us down. Max needs some sort of happiness in her life, okay? Wow. So that happened. All right. Now we go back to the dead. And we, uh, talk to Vin. About platypus facts? All right. This was cute, but where's the unsubscribe button? <laughs> Did you know ancient platypuses are believed to have been around three feet in length? A whole yard of platypus. That's double the size of the modern descendant. Big if true, and it is. Big and true. Anyone else going through it right now, or just me? Because in a word, bruh. Oof, I know that, bruh. What's their name? Thanks, Reggie, but it wasn't a breakup, bruh. It was a still thinking about what happened to that girl, bruh. Gotcha, well, if you ever want to talk about it, this is all I want to say about it for now, but thanks. Oh, Reggie. This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but... He doesn't look good, exactly. Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth, so. Reggie. I know, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. Oh no. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. Oh. And maybe, maybe they're right. You're not a fuck up. Everyone's a fuck up. I'm just gonna say it like this. Reggie. You're funny. Genuine. Clumsy. <laughs> but I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. At least there's one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. You're welcome. Anytime. Damn, this place looks so dead. Dead zone is right. Oh, Vin's right here. Okay, before we speak to him. Let's check out everything else. That's what I really need to cap off my night. Falling on my ass. Glad to see you're still behaving yourself over on this side. All right, before I talk to Vin, I'm gonna talk to Amanda. Why does she look mad? This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I should give her a break. Yeah, but I'm still gonna speak to her, so. Hey, I'm a scientist. Hey, yourself. I have a reputation to uphold. How are we feeling? New scientists have to oh, you know. Do I make any money? I'm upright. No. Do I have any job prospects? Take it easy, okay? What do I get in okay. Time I walk into my lab? All right, let's Probably go to Vin. Yes. All right, let's Here. speak to Vin. There's Vin, looking rough. Come here often? Oh. <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? <sighs> Help yourself. <laughs> Rough day. Mm -hmm. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Sophie. At least she's self-aware. 
Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Sophie was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, really? um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Sophie. Oh. Well... I should have told you. It's fine. Yeah, you should have. It's fine. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. Mm. Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? Well, <laughs> I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> oh, Christ, Max. I was joking. <laughs> and I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young. I was an asshole. And I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until they shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless, you can't even remember being them? I get it, you still messed up. That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salary, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. <laughs> See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. <laughs> oh, you hit that? No. <laughs> I mean... In the living. <laughs> Not here. We were talking. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of what? She's probably right. She's cute, but... Uh, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Are no, you into him? Once, I asked him how his day was going. And he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? Don't make me answer that. I feel like saying pass is so mean. I'm just going to say smash. Not that I feel like Max would, but you know. He's our friend, okay? Okay, fine. I admit it. My friend, Moses, is an extremely handsome man. I mean, it's true. I'll drink to that. He is handsome. I'll say this for Caledon. 
athletes got a high ratio of pluggable faculty. Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? I mean... Listen, she hates my guts. But I could never say pass to Miss Dr. Hunter. Let's just say I was a little disappointed when I found out she had a wife. You never know. Her wife could be dumb, too. Then... <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. Hard pass. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. Hey, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or pass? Hard fucking pass. Pass, he's a dick. Exactly. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. Uh, <laughs> okay, my turn. Yasmin. Now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> really? I would not have pegged you for the title. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? Okay, can we... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> you could have. You surely could have. Fine. My turn again. And so do we both know. Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two. Why is he getting closer? One of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? What? Oh my god. Kiss Vin or pass? I can't kiss him. I mean, I could, but like, I don't see her with him at all. Like, maybe as friends, but not- I'm sorry. I could do it just for the fun of it, but like... I kind of want to do it just for that, but I don't want to mess with Amanda. Amanda's literally right there. Like, if there's any potential, like, we fucked it over. So I'm just gonna pass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't take this the wrong way, but- No worries. No hard feelings. That's the smash or pass rule. Yeah. Yep. I think his ego's well, a little hurt. It's not gonna fun. Lie. I needed this, so. <laughs> Thank you. Night, Max. Oh, he's so Night. bummed. He is so bummed he didn't get to kiss us. I better cross back over in case Sophie has cooled off and is trying to reach me. Oh, work. snapshot. Adding this to my sad guy drinks alone series. There we go. Post. Here's to finding out people are more than their first impressions. Right. Later, Vin. Hang in there, Vin. And Vin's liver. <laughs> right. Dip out. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. I guess. Oh, Vin. Yo, Max, we're cool, right? I mean, I know we are, but like, we are, right? Oh, sure, Vin. We're downright frosty. Right, that's what I thought. And you won't tell anyone about me and Safi, yeah? Not that I mind, it's just, you know other people might mind it's under lock and key for Sophie's sake cool right thanks max i hope that footage helps with the hearing maybe then glenn will forgive me all right i guess we leave they make sure i got all the collectibles yeah okay all right let's leave
Home sweet home. Oh, <gasps> someone broke in. Oh, shut up. It was Alderman. What the hell? Wait, someone's in there right now? <gasps> Wait, what about our cat? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, hell no. Girl, call the police. Oh, God. This is bad. Our back door. The way she's like not freaking out. She had, she's had so much bad shit happen that like this doesn't even phase her that someone broke into her place. <gasps> well, I guess I gotta clean Whoever it. Was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? I don't know, girl. Wait, Amanda messaged us. Max, I just found out Revenge Horse is coming in the spring if you want to go IRL. Ooh, I'd love to, but that sounds great, but I'm kind of dealing with something at the moment. Let me get back to you. Sure, you okay? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. All right, another new journal post. I can't believe that on top of everything else, Amanda's also an incredible kisser. I mean, if she wasn't, I'd understand, but damn. Is she perfect? Okay, calm down, Max. Nobody's perfect, but could you be perfect for me? Sure, I thought the same thing about us once, didn't I, Chloe? That we were perfect? Even still, though, after all my fucked up shit, don't I deserve a little happiness? And I feel like when I'm with her, I forget everything but us when she's looking at me. I still can't stop thinking about her. Wait, that's kind of a cute picture. I mean, we didn't have Vin kiss us, but you know. Could have, but. Oh, Gwen. Cut the elves in the pedantry around Enchanted Forest. How about that TTRPG with gay cowgirls in space? Someone make it happen. <laughs> if they're space cowgirls, exactly what are they wrangling? Vin. <laughs> I swear to God, if you're thinking of giving me dating advice, maybe shut up instead. Just get back out there. Isn't the flex you think it is. Diamond, are you subtweeting me when I'm literally sitting right next to you? Not just you, Reggie. Everyone who means well doesn't seem to know me as well as they'd like. Then tell me. Talk to me. I would. I will. Once I figure out how to put it into words. So she's like slightly subtweeting us as well. Okay. There goes my security deposit. Oh, memories box. No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Oh, shit. Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? Um. Anything else over here? Oh. <gasps> Our cat. <sighs> Iris. You scared me. Oh no. You're scared. Oh, poor baby. Wait. Oh, I can snapshot. Iris? Say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you are so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. Fair enough. <laughs> Cutie. Cat can finally look down upon me as nature intended. Isn't it a little weird that now we posted a picture on the internet with a to-do list that says to tell Safi the truth? Just saying. Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? <sighs> oh, that is the weirdest hiss I've heard. Hey now, I bet your claws were sharper than theirs. That doesn't sound good, B. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. 
Come on. Jump. I'll catch you. Oh. Iris is a little bit of a tood. That's okay. You I got it. Stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. <laughs> Gather your thoughts. <laughs> oh, okay. Arcadia Bay newspaper. <gasps> what the hell? They're still here? Wait, I don't like that. Fuck. I think they just went into the dark room. Girl, why can't you be smart and like call the cops for once? I can't or let them go through my investigation stuff. Wait a second. But I'm not done exploring. Guess Count Catula has particular tastes, and bananas is not one of them. Wait, is there anything upstairs? Oh, they literally trashed everything up here as well. Hope you've got an eye full, creep. Chloe photo. God, I wish you were here, Chloe. I could use some of your courage. What if I go into living? I'm just curious. If there's anything different. Wow, it's so clean. This would piss you off, Chloe. He'd be looking for some serious payback. I just wanna see if there's anything here. Oh. Looks good. But why did they mess with Sophie's poetry books in the first place? Is it a coincidence? Why do I feel like it's not Alderman? Everything's still here where it belongs. Oh, Polaroid. Max Moses, I must bid you adieu. Make good choices, or you know, don't. What the? Looking for these? Really, Max? Most designated drivers at least give you a ride. No ride. You're staying here tonight. <laughs> but, Mom! <laughs> Only intruder in that world is Safi. I wish she was here right now. Okay. At least this one isn't damaged. Closed and secure. Too bad I can't hide out over here forever. Okay, let's go back to living. The person who did this is still inside my house. I'm scared. I don't know who it could be. Oh, I didn't look at the snacks. Oh, my snack stash. Bad cat. Oh, and she pulled the toilet paper out. Okay. Everybody knows that bad shit happens in basements. I don't know who the heck it's gonna be. I feel like it's not Alderman. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, but I'm scared. I'm so scared. Who is it? Oh my god, what if it's Max? From the third timeline? <gasps> Shut the fuck up. Ditto, don't fucking move. Uh. Okay, you just freeze, okay? I don't know what the fuck is happening, but until I do, you're staying put right where you are. Yeah, that really doesn't work for me. Huh? Bitch, where are you, think you going? Max, get her. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Where 
are you going? <gasps> oh. going. Now what? Am I supposed to jump over? Now how do I get across? Catch the other Max? Please tell me how. Oh. <sighs> Watch this. Come on, come on, come on. No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Oh, let's just use this. Well, here we go. Footsteps. Shit. How do I know which way? Girl, we're following. I know exactly which way. I cannot believe this right now. Where is this story going? I hope I haven't lost her. <sighs> what the heck? I almost got her! Surprise, bitch! <laughs> Max, you can't get away from me. Stop. For fuck's sake, just stop. All right. You caught me. Now what? Now what? What is wrong with you? Are you here about Safi? Where did you come from? Uh, B. Where did you even come from? You from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Huh? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Ben, about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. Max, I'm trying to help Safi. Don't you care about it? That's not true. I'm trying to help Safi. Of course you were. God, I'm so sick of people trying to help. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. Oh. Oh. No! <gasps> no! Oh. So it's different than what happened with Alderman. Oh no, the ice is gonna crack. <gasps> oh shit. <gasps> Why is it different?
Oh no. <gasps> Bitch, you better run. Come on. What the heck? What are we doing? She just... What the fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. What? <gasps> Wait, she's disappearing. Wait, that cannot... Wait, Sophie? Uh, Y'all, my brain hurts. My brain hurts. What if somebody was ice skating on that ice, but now she replaced it in the other timeline, and those people just fell into the ice because it cracked? Listen, she didn't think about that now, did she? Anyways, I'm actually really happy about this. So it says try to save Alderman and we saved ourselves. Only 60% did that and I'm happy with that. So I'm really curious to see what outcomes I get. Oh, <laughs> we really, we really chose the other options this time around. 23%. Your relationship is now shattered. Well, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Kiss living world Amanda. Okay. 71% kissed. Wow, 90% didn't get the opportunity. Interesting. Amanda's thrilled with the kiss, but she wants to take it slow. Okay. Kiss dead world Vin. Okay, 50% took the pass. Vin is a little let down. Girl, I could see that it shattered his ego a little bit. Not gonna lie. Max got Moses' anime phrase correct. Uh, Max promised Moses she would tell Sophie to stay safe. Max mixed up her Loretta's. I mean, literally honest mistake, okay? I just forgot that, you know, timeline thing. Only 35% changed the phone guy's grade. 26% talked to the future and heard from the past at the phone art project. Max told Vin she knew about him and Sophie's relationship. 41% picked Max told Vin and that Lucas wanted a restraining order against Sophie, which I was debating on doing that one or the relationship 42 percent max told diamond that yasmin asked vin to make a statement max drinks of choice okay we picked sweet 59 percent max reflected with the snapping turtle 25 percent max would smash some of her colleagues and smash her pass <laughs> revenge horse concert grease trap perished while crowd surfing intruder alert max found the intruder using only clues Oh, you could find her using her powers and clues? Oh, I wonder how that works. Oh, I guess I could have pressed RB to see if there was footprints, like we did when we were chasing the other Max. All right, well, that was a pretty interesting episode. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.